After more than five years, there is finally a sold sign on this property in downtown Farmington, but it's that little barn in the back that's making a lot of buzz, viewed and shared tens of thousands of times on Facebook. We know that this has been viewed almost 100,000 times through preservation outlets. Kate Knight is the executive director of the Farmington Downtown Development Authority, and this barn has become the talk of the town. It's a rallying point. The community feels strongly about it. We love our barns, and if there's a way to move it out, we will absolutely help facilitate that. This building on Grand River will become a Japanese steakhouse with apartments upstairs. But next door, this old home and its barn didn't fit with the owner's development plans. So they decided to try giving the barn away for free. Ideally, we'd love to see it uh, disassembled, moved and reassembled, intact in a, a really great context. Built in the 1890s, the barn originally served as a carriage house. More than a century later, it's not a historic building, but has the charm and construction of days long gone. I love the scale. I love the detailing. It's handcrafted. I love the fieldstone foundation. Um, they don't make them like this anymore. So far, its fate is up in the air. Change is bittersweet, and um, we're lucky to have a developer who's open to offering the community a, a crack at making this happen. The owners of Samurai, the sushi and hibachi restaurant, they want to open within the year. So work on this portion of the property is going to start pretty quickly. They want to demolish that home to make way for a parking lot. So if you want to own a piece of that barn, the clock is ticking. Reporting from downtown Farmington, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.